What is going on beautiful people? I am Lee Hammett, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as mental illness and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains Short Edition. In today's episode we're going to be talking about why you need to block your narcissistic toxic ex after the breakup regardless of who broke up with who. Stay tuned, like and subscribe. Narcissists and toxic people live their lives on social media like their exes are watching them. And if you're new here, I'm a narcissist. I have narcissistic personality disorder. So once you break up with a narcissist or once they discard you and things like that, it is highly suggested that you block them on social media. Because regardless of whether or not you're watching, they're going to start posting things on there to try to agitate you or to try to get a reaction from you. To try to continue to devalue you or make you feel worthless even after the relationship ends. They're going to post a new relationship. They're going to do things on your birthday or their birthday or your kids' birthdays and things like that. They're going to try to show the world how happy they are without you. So that's why I suggested that you block them or and have your friends that are just your friends block them as well because they're going to post things and hope that your friends tell you about what they're posting. Hey, do you see what your ex posted on social media? They look super happy with that new person. That's exactly what they want you to hear from somebody else or exactly what you want. They want you to see. Again, y'all, happy people, truly happy people don't need to show the world that they're happy. happy. So, y'all, as you can see, yes, narcissists and toxic people live their lives like well, after the breakup, they live their lives like their exes are watching them, like you are watching them. So many people think it's a coincidence that they're, they're, their ex is posting things on their birthday or, you know, six months after the breakup, they get into a new relationship and happen to post it on their on your birthday and things like that. That's intentional. They could have waited the day, could have waited could have did the day before, the day after, the week before, week after. They've been in a relationship for six months, but today they're going to make it Facebook official because, you know, there's no other importance behind this day. They're not going to look y'all. They're trying, like, post-separation narcissistic abuse is a thing, y'all. And what I mean by that is that even after the relationship ends, they're going to try to hurt you. They're going to try to harm you by, you know, hope by hoping that you're watching them, by hoping that your friends are watching them and conveying information back to you. Hey, look, Lee posting, oh, Lee, look, he's super happy. Like, he done moved on and he, like, he put their clap cheeks on top of the Eiffel Tower. You know what I mean? They, happy people. Don't need to let don't need to let the world know that they're happy. Intent matters. Yeah, can do happy people post do real happy people post things online? Yes. But intent matters. The intent of a narcissist or toxic person, especially especially if you broke up with them. If you broke up with them, yeah, they're gonna be going to they might launch a smear campaign or they might might launch a I'm happier, I'm better off without you campaign, which means that they're gonna go the next person that they find one weekend two weeks in, two months in, or whatever, the love of their, they just met the love of their life and they couldn't, they couldn't have done this if they, they wouldn't have cut loose the dead weight of an old toxic, toxic, dirty ass relationship. You know what I mean? Some people hold you back from the things that you're meant to go get. Glad I let go of that toxic relationship. They're going to make it sound like you're toxic. They're going to do things and post things to hurt you. So that's why I say after the relationship, you got to block them. You got to cut them off because why do you want to watch that? What are you looking for? You know, what are your friends looking for? Unless you're documenting stuff for an upcoming um, court case or something like that, what are you looking for? Literally, what is he, what what are you point what are you pinpointing? What are you looking for right now? What do you what does the eye test tell you? What are you looking for? You know what I mean? So stop the document everything. Like I said, unless you're documenting things, like looking at them, wishing bad on them, wanting their revenge. Like because so I know I know at the core, most people just want to know you mattered. Yeah, you matter at a certain point, but now that they moved on, you matter to the point where they want to hurt you. They want to make you feel insignificant and less worth less than what you really are. They want to take your value away, even after the relationship, regardless of who broke over who. You know what I mean? So block them. Keep your eyes on the prize, which is your own happiness, which is which is your own peace, which is your own. You know what I mean? It, it, keep your eyes on the prize of life, y'all. You can do it. I know it's I know it's hard. I know it sucks. I know it's tough not to watch it, but don't you know I mean? Don't watch it because they're trying to hurt you, y'all. They really, really are. I know. I've posted stuff trying to hurt my exes before. I've done it before. I know because I that's why how how I know they do it. I've posted things pretending to be happy with somebody else um, to hurt my hurt my ex. Just I just have. Hopefully you're watching this. Even if you're not watching, they're going to post it anyway. Hoping that you're watching. Hoping that your friends are watching. So you block. Tell your friends. If, they don't, if they're don't, if they still friends with this person or whatever. If they were friends before. Look, don't tell me anything that that person is doing. 
Anyways, y'all, I'm going to cut this thing short. Five minutes or less, I told y'all. Stay tuned. Like and subscribe for more. Mental Illness is out. Peace.